now. I gotta fire you lazy bums. We've got a huge assignment. Coming, boss. What you got for us, boss? Here's the case files. Read it over. Now get out of my office. Okay, let's see. 1800s, English countryside, Scarvey, we've got a job to do. Let's find out who loves who and quick. Oh. Hmm, okay, where do we begin? We begin with Elizabeth Bennett. Files say she's in her 20s, upper middle class, and it's told she'll lose everything when her father dies. But wait, that's odd. The files say she wants to marry for love. Not money? That's odd. Give me the file. Hmm. It's rumored that she's in love with Mr. Darcy. It'll be up to us to find out. Okay, so we know there have been rumors circulating that Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth Bennet are in love. And the boss got a special interview with a witness who says they're really good friends with Mr. Darcy. I was at Netherfield and noticed the entire night that Mr. Darcy was watching and admiring Elizabeth Bennet. Miss Bingley seemed very jealous as well and tried to get Mr. Darcy's attention all night. Yet he only started paying attention to her when she walked away with Elizabeth. I also was told that after Darcy and Miss Bennett parted at the Netherfield Ball, he had very intense feelings for her. Well, it seems like Mr. Darcy has developed quite the crush on Miss Bennett. I wonder if she feels the same way. Just wait, there's more. I was told by several sources that Elizabeth Bennett finds Mr. Darcy detestable, and that she's been spending an awful lot of time with a certain Mr. Wickham. I also heard that Mr. Wickham told her that Darcy stole his father's estate from its rightful heir, Mr. Wickham! Well, that certainly seems like a reason Miss Bennett would hate Mr. Darcy. I know. Let's go to another field and look for some clues. Look at these scuff marks on the floor. It looks like two people had a rather good time dancing. These shoe marks must have been from Miss Bennett and Mr. Darcy. Miss Bennett must have obviously enjoyed dancing with Mr. Darcy. Look how many there are. Bosch said she bugged the place during the ball. Maybe we have some of Miss Bennett's conversations. I hardly know how to suppose that I can be an object of admiration to so great a man. Well, it seems like Miss Bennett likes Mr. Darcy more than she would like to admit. I don't think we have enough to make a call. I don't either. Let's go. We can call Boss on the way back to HQ. Boss, we finished our investigation. Potter and I have concluded that we don't have enough to decide if Elizabeth Bennett and Mr. Darcy love each other. All right. Good work, detectives. We'll put it with the other cold case files. Since you've proved yourself somewhat useful, stop by my office. I've got a stack of case files for you to pick up. These cases aren't going to solve themselves. We've got to get back to headquarters. There's more cases to solve. Let's go. Oh, when Boss said she had more cases for us, I didn't think she meant this many. Quit complaining. Let's get to work. That took longer than expected. This better be good. Don't worry, boss. We did excellent sleuthing. <laughs>